All right. In this video, we're going to be answering probability questions about cards. So the rules that I already established in the previous videos, we're going to be using here. So um, hopefully it goes well. But keep this in mind. We went over several rules already in this playlist. Rules about combinations and permutations and odds and addition rules, multiplication rules, conditional probability. Those techniques and more you need to understand and have it mastered. So let's look at 61. One card is selected from a deck of cards. Find the probability of selecting a red card or a queen. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to do this one without the card sample space because you need to know the card sample space. I know it's probably going to be given to you on, on an exam or something, but you should know it. The better you know it, the easier answering these questions will become. So you want to find the probability that one card is chosen is a red card or a queen. Probability question with the word or. So we're going to be using the addition rule. Remember that um, or means union. So the probability of getting a red card plus the probability of a queen. Minus the probability of a red. And the red card is a queen. Let's see, can we actually go in here and get a picture of the card sample space just for emergency reference if we need it? So, hmm, there should be a copy, maybe, hopefully, in one of these. <clears throat> maybe not. There should be, oh, I think I found a card. That's a dice. All right, here we go. We found ourselves a card sample space. So we're going to steal it, actually. So let's copy this. Also, I'm showing you guys how I set things up. And we're going to paste this. But we're going to paste this. Let's paste it over here. Bam. We got our card sample space. So we should already know that there are 52 cards in the deck. Okay, that can go away. Half of the cards are red, half of the cards are black. So the probability of us getting a red card is gonna be 26 out of 52. 52 cards in the deck, 26 of them are red. When we go to look at our queens, and also, by the way, I wanna just box these. Okay, that was a terrible drawing. I just want to box these. And I want to call these cards our face cards. Because when you play cards, they have faces on them. Or we call them picture cards. For reference. Anyways, there are a total of four queens in the deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight... Actually, let's make the highlight a little bit bigger in this case. Let's highlight all of the yellow cards. I mean, all the red cards, excuse me. In yellow highlighter, we're going to highlight all of the red cards. There are 26 red cards. And in the blue highlighter, we're going to highlight all of our queens. And if you notice, there are four queens. So the probability of getting a queen is 4 out of 52. Minus, are there any overlaps? Are there any cards that are counted twice? And when you look at our card sample space, there are. There are two outcomes that are counted twice. Red and blue makes green. So at the green overlap, the red queens are counted twice. Minus 2 out of 52. Same denominators, combined enumerators. This is 28 out of 52. And when you reduce this fraction by dividing the numerator and denominator by 4, you receive 7 thirteenths. 
So that is the probability of us getting a red or a queen. Matter of fact, I don't even want to red light that. The answer is seven thirteens. Okay, I'm just doing a whole bunch of nonsense. All right, let's reset the question and let's then move on to the next one. I'm actually going to move my card sample space below down here. Okay. Number 62. One card is selected from the deck of cards. Find the probability of selecting a red or a heart. So you want to find the probability of a red card or a heart. So this equals to the probability of a red plus the probability of a heart minus the probability of a red and the card is a heart. So a red heart. And once again, I want to just label these cards here as my face cards. Face slash picture. So in the yellow highlighter, let's do the red cards. And we already established that there are already 26 red cards in the deck. So the probability of receiving a red card or getting a red card is 26 out of 52. Plus, in blue, let's highlight all of our hearts. We can see that there are 13 hearts in the deck of cards. So the probability of getting a heart is 13 out of 52. Minus the probability of getting a red and a heart. But then you have to notice hearts are red. Every heart is red. And remember, blue and yellow makes green. The hearts are all green because we counted them twice. We counted the hearts a part of the hearts and we counted the hearts a part of the red cards. So the intersection of those two events is going to be 13 outcomes out of 52 possible outcomes. Hearts already red. So we double counted them. That's why when you do the math, the 13 over 52s, they cancel each other out. Leaving you with 26 over 52. And that is half of the deck that is chosen. So kind of a tricky question, but not a hard question. Just the categories, the events that were chosen made it a little more tricky than the first question. Okay. Number 63. If two cards are drawn with replacement from an ordinary deck, find the probability that the first card is a heart and the second card is a diamond. It is drawn with replacement from the deck and it is two cards, one after another. Because you are replacing, this is a scenario of independent events. So the probability that the first one is a heart And the second one is a diamond. And because you are replacing, we have a set of independent events that equals to the probability that the first is a heart times the probability the second is a diamond. There are 13 hearts in the deck, as we already established. So that's 13 out of 52. When you choose one card, you take that card out and you put it back into the deck. So that means there are 52 cards available for the next attempt. And we have 13 diamonds in our deck. So the probability of receiving a diamond is 13 out of 52. 
13 out of 52 can reduce to a fourth. Hence, one fourth times one fourth. That is a six. That is a sixteenth. My lisp is coming out. I have a, I have a lisp. I don't know if you hear it sometimes when I do the videos. My lisp. So, the probability that the first card is a heart and the second card is a diamond is one six. See, <laughs> I can't even say it right. One sixteenth or one over sixteen. Maybe I should say it like that. All right. Let's clear this. 64. You are dealt one card from 52 card deck. Then the card is replaced into the deck. The deck is shuffled and then you draw again. Find the probability of getting a pitcher card on the first time and a club on the second time. Express your probability as a simplified fraction. So you're dealt a card twice. And then it said that the card is replaced back into the deck. And then you go again. Take a card out. Look at it. You put it back. You shuffle the deck, then you do it again. Find the probability that the first one is a club. So the first one's a pitcher card, second one is a club. This, my friends, is another example of independent events. So for 64, the probability of the first card being a pitcher card and the second card, clubs. This equals to the probability that the first is a pitcher card times the probability the second is a clubs. And because you are replacing the cards in the deck, our denominators will be 52 for each. There are a total of 12 picture cards in our deck 12 face cards so that's going to be 12 over 52 and when we look at our clubs which are these down here there are 13 clubs in our deck so that's 13 out of 52 went too far down we can reduce 12 over 52 to 3 over 13 by dividing the numerator and denominator by 4 so 3 over 13 times, we can reduce 13 over 52 to 1 fourth. That makes sense. There are four suits and a deck of cards, and we're choosing clubs, so that is a fourth of the deck. And when we find the probability, that equals to 3 over 52, because we're multiplying the fractions, numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. All right, 65. It says, a five, or if you are dealt five cards from a shuffled deck of 52 cards, find the probability that all five are pitcher cards. Okay. So you want to find the probability of five cards, five pitcher cards, I should say. So you're being dealt five cards. And when you go back to this question above, it says you want to find five pitcher cards. So all the cards are pitcher cards. There are 12 pitcher cards in the deck, and you're being dealt five of those pitcher cards. Now, go back to before what we said, right? Cards are distinct. They are different by its suit, its color, and its value. 
when cards are being dealt to you, in this case, the order and how you receive those picture cards does not matter. There is no order to this question. You just want to find the probability of receiving five picture cards. And the last couple of questions, the order did matter because I said which one came first, which one came second. But for question number 65, there is no order. So the order does not matter. So we're choosing cards. The order does not matter. And the items are distinct. This is a case of combinations. So we're going to use combinations in this question. We're using combinations because, once again, cards are distinct. In this question, there is no mention of order. And the cards are not being replaced. There's no replacement. So, we'll be using combinations. You want to find a probability that all five cards are pitcher cards. There are 12 pitcher cards in the deck. You're choosing five of those at random. The order doesn't matter how you choose the picture cards. You're not replacing them back into the deck because you're being dealt five cards. So this is going to be the combination of 12 cards choosing five. That is your numerator. And that is going to be 1,287 because we calculated this in a previous video. Now, for our denominator, what we have in general, the, the, the total number of possible outcomes, there is 52 cards in the deck. You are choosing five at random. And in general terms, the order doesn't matter in how you choose those cards. So our denominator is going to be a combination of 52 cards. You're choosing five on a general level doesn't matter which card you're choosing, nor does the order matter. And that equals to 2,598,960. I know from doing this question for several review sheets, they want this as a reduced fraction. So we're going to give it to them as a reduced fraction. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in 1,287 divided by 2,598,960. And then we're going to go to math and convert that fraction. And we get the fraction of 33 over 66,000. Actually, I lied. I lied. Let's go back real quick because I think the combination of 12 and 5 is 792. It is not 1287. So, no, I'm not going to edit that out. We're going to keep that. I, I definitely botched it. Go to our combinations. That's 12. Choose 5. That's 792. So, when we divide that by 2,598,960, and we turn that into a fraction, that's going to be 33 over 108,290. I caught myself because um, I was like, hmm, I don't remember the last time me doing this question, I got that denominator. I got the numerator, but not that denominator. So I should stick to my own rules and use the calculator when I'm doing these questions. All right. So... Let's do the last one, which is question number 66. A five-card hand is dealt at random 
from a deck from a standard deck. What is the probability that the hand contains exactly two black cards? This question always appears on the review sheet and usually on the test. So the probability of exactly two black cards. So we can definitely answer that question. Now, if we know that there must be five cards in the hand in total and two of them has to be black, then the other three needs to be red. So let's focus on getting two black cards. The combination, could, because once again, we can use combinations in this case, since the order doesn't matter on how we choose in the cards. There's no replacement of cards into the deck and each card is distinct. There are 26 black cards in the deck and we're choosing two black cards. The order doesn't matter how we're choosing the black cards. Once again, they're each distinct. And most importantly, you're not replacing the cards back into the deck because you must have five cards in your hand. That's going to be the combination of, oops, and I'm going to put red, 26, choosing two. Now, remember, if you are choosing two black cards, that means the other three cards in your hand are not black. And if they're not black, those cards are red. There are 26 red cards in the deck. You are choosing three of those red cards at random. You're not replacing the cards when you choose them. And each red card is distinct. That is the combination of 26 choose three. And because we are using counting, counting techniques and want to find the number of ways we can have, we can choose exactly two black cards when we're picking five, at least for our numerator, we multiply the combinations. So what is that going to be? For the first combination of 26 choose two, that's 325. For the combination of 26 choose 3, that is going to be 2,600. Now, let's not forget about our denominator. But let's multiply. And we multiply 325 with 2,600, that equals to 845,000. And I've done this problem a lot of times, so I know this is correct for sure. So, for our denominator, we have 52 cards in our deck in general. In general, we're choosing five cards to be in our hand. We're not replacing the cards because we need to have five cards in our hand, and the order doesn't matter in which you receive those five cards. That is a combination of 52 cards in our deck. We're choosing five distinct cards, and the order doesn't matter. That's 2,598,960 ways. 598, 960. And then I am going to now divide the question, divide the numbers. I'm going to divide the numbers. That's going to equal to approximately 0 0.32513. We can double check that to make sure that's correct. So 845,000 divided by 2,598,960 ways. So approximately 3, 0.32513. We'll take five numbers after the decimal. And then we have our answer. So that is it for questions 61 to 66. I hope that was helpful. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.